some people write about things that are distant to them and some people write about things that are really close to them and I write about here. I woke up the next morning, hungover, ashamed of myself and not realising it was the day that would change my life forever. I think the film is probably the most personal one he's written. The first time I met him, he told me it was the last one he was going to direct. And it was a real shock, but I think it's for the same reasons. I mean, what they talk about in the film, family and making time to enjoy and appreciate the short amount of time that you have. Well, you can tell that he's very close to it and it's very personal and, and that he brings so much of himself to it. He's very generous with his spirit. It was nice for me, I think, in this case, to be able to write about my world, but to inhabit it actually with two people who were not from my world. I'm gonna go into the bedroom and put on my new pajamas, and then in a minute you can come in and take them off. I'm sure it'll be better next time. The Cartesian world holds a mirror up to all of us as well, and, you know, so that the audience absolutely can see themselves, all their own lives, all their own emotions, and all the rest of it in terms of the work that he's doing. And, in, and quite often he's also stating the obvious, but he does it in an absolutely brilliant way. My parents are in town. They're visiting, and they're coming around. When? Now. Now, now. Now, now, now. So you should probably put on some pants. His films are exactly like Richard, I mean, full of art and full of love and full of generosity. And the car cut there. He's plugged into people's hearts. He just is. He's, he is talking about things that most people deal with. I am so uninterested in a life without your father. Mary, well, let's make some tea. His own idealism about the world, I think, is what informs the good-hearted, loving nature of his romantic comedies. It's your first day and you're already having to get used to it, but it's the beginning of London. I've never heard as many nice things about a person as I have about Richard before having even met him. Richard creates the most amazing environment because it just allows you to have so much fun and play with everything you're doing, which you have to. Just try and keep you happy. <laughs> no film is without this worry that, you know, is it working and are we doing the right things and making the right choices and all that sort of stuff. But like, everybody hung out and there was a lot of laughter and a lot of sunshine and a lot of people getting on. And Richard just really brings that sense of happiness to set. So I'll be very sad if it's the last film he does, but I'll understand. Lovely and cut.